Welcome to Arrow MIDI. Arrow MIDI allows you to use Leap Motion and other devices coming soon to uh, move your hands around in 3D space um, and trigger MIDI events or change parameters for effects, expression, as well as to um, play MIDI notes. So here's an overview of the interface. In the middle you see this circling particle field. It's kind of the area where you want to put your hands. We also see a blinking um, cursor. On the left here we see our main menu. We have an authorized window for registering the software, which we advise you to do. Um, and then we have new load, save, and all that settings, um, setting different parameters and preferences. Edit mode, which we're currently in due to the red light. MIDI panic, that's your typical, I don't know what's going on, but uh, there's all kinds of MIDI insanity going on. Let's just press this and stop all the MIDI notes and that type of thing. You got your help and you quit. Um, right here we have some a camera control. You can move it up, down, left, right, rotate, um, in and out. And then we have our action cards. We only have one action card right now called A. Um, and then over here on the right we have our uh, add cube. This is our edit menu really. Our add cube, our MIDI add, which allows you to play notes to add MIDI uh, cubes. And undo redo, properties for cubes, snap, duplicate, and delete. So we have one action card down here already. We'll click on it. It brings up the editing interface. We have a general tab, shows in yellow. The name, we could even call it. We could name it my action card. The group color, this is very important. Um, only one uh, action card per group is allowed to be active. So if, at any rate, we'll get back to that later. The device, uh, this is by default, it is the default. And the default is specified in the settings. And right now the default is arrow MIDI. But you can also specify a specific one if you want. MIDI channel, that's self-explanatory. Um, the gesture. Currently we support the Leap Motion controller and the gesture is really, there's only six gestures. Rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, swipe left, swipe right, up and down. The duration of the gesture has to be performed. You can move that up to 0.1 seconds. Uh, trigger hand, um, if this is left or right or any, we'll just leave it at any. And then re-trigger um, is whether you want to re-trigger this event um, without having to trigger another um, action card in the same group. The fingers, the number of fingers this applies to. So this is important. Um, you might have in your set uh, two fingers for uh, turning on new gesture action cards and then four to five fingers for um, changing parameters or changing expression or whatever and then we have our actions this is already set up with two a start action it sends CC controller one on the start and then a Y action sending CC controller number two when you move your hand up and down. So that's that. Let's create a few more action cards to give you the idea. Uh, we're gonna we're in the purple group here. We're just gonna leave that as B, and we'll do a rotate counterclockwise, and then we'll do another one. We'll do a swipe left, no a swipe up. And then we'll also do a swipe down. And we need to change the action to purple. Okay, so what this means is that only one of those purple action cards will be um, 
active at a time. So I'm going to um, put my hand over the leap motion controller and of course you can't see it uh, but my hand is above the leap motion controller and now I'm just going to move my hand in a counterclockwise direction triggered action card B. Now I'm going to swipe my hand up with a slight velocity boom and that triggers action card C I can move it down triggers action card D. If I want to go back to the first one I do counterclockwise I'm sorry, clockwise and counterclockwise, and up, down, up, down, up, down. One thing that you might be able to do with these swipes or these uh, various gestures is uh, to trigger a, a, a loop or a beat or whatever or something along those lines. Um, now, of course, you can, as you see this hand in there, it shows you the number of fingers that it detects. This is the leap motion controller. It, it can only detect what it can see. So you can see that I'm moving my fingers around and I'm triggering gestures. One of the reasons why I'm triggering gestures is because my duration is by default only zero seconds so it's picking up very small gestures with these rotates another thing is that these are all one to five fingers if I start hiding fingers you'll see it says oh there's three fingers there's two fingers one finger zero fingers so I could have these gestures only triggerable if it's one to two fingers so I'm gonna switch Go to all these gestures and switch them to one to two fingers. Okay, so now I'm moving up, down, up, down. I have five fingers. Nothing's happening. I go to two fingers, up, down, up, down, up, down. Go back to five. Nothing's happening. Now the only time that something might happen is if you go over to the side or you get really out of range and it can't detect any fingers and it goes oh there's two fingers and you know so um, that's a little overview with action cards